Xinjiang is in the west of China. It is a rest of region that is a target and source of terrorist attacks. Police have identified Xinjiang as key to defeating terrorism. The region borders Afghanistan and Pakistan. Intelligent reports suggest that these mountains are home to more than 40 terrorist training camps. Al-Qaeda and the Taliban have acted with impunity in this region for years. Osama bin Laden hit in these mountains. This area was described as the epicenter of global terrorism by the former chairman of the U.S. Joint Chief of Staff. The East Turkestan Islamic Movement, better known as ETIM, is a terrorist organization that trains in the lawless border area between Afghanistan and Pakistan. It is part of a loosely connected global terror network. ETIM has planned and carried out several attacks in China. It has links to other terrorist organizations in other countries. In 2002, the UN Security Council listed ETIM as a terrorist organization. Bank accounts of members were frozen, assets were seized, sanctions included travel restrictions and a ban on weapon sales. In December 2003, China's Ministry of Public Security outlawed ETIM. It was the first time the government formally recognized that a terrorist group was operating inside the country. ETIM is not an isolated organization. It is part of an international terrorist system which threatens not only China. I think ETM had a more, the most dangerous proportion in the last decade. Their total mission of getting independence in China in the form of East Turkestan, I don't see a chance. I don't see any um, chances of their achieving that here. Where Pakistan and China need to work together is on intelligence. That though Chinese have been able to contain them, let's not take it easy. These very people, if they get disappointed in China, they can turn against Pakistan. International terrorist forces are influencing ETIM, which has embraced the ideology of violent jihad. Members of ETIM outside China are active in Syria. They have worked with Al-Qaeda in Iraq and Syria. Videos from ETIM and videos produced by Al-Qaeda are difficult to tell apart. In recent years, the international community and the Chinese government have stepped up their struggle against ETIM. But with the rapid development of the internet and the mobile phone technologies, ETIM is changing its strategy. The internet has become a new battleground as ETIM increases online publication of propaganda, images designed to incite violence, and terrorist training manuals. The bad actors out there are quite savvy in getting the message out electronically and otherwise. Terrorist organizations understand the internet. Someone still has to carry out the attack, but the people behind it can use the internet to spread their message. Videos that glorify violence cost little and spread quickly, often with horrific consequences. The ETIM set up websites outside China. They use freely available internet services to store and deliver their messages. They are active on social media and on content sharing sites. China's police have identified the following four-step process. Terrorism is incited from outside the country, it is spread online, it is picked up locally, the attack is carried out offline. 